We have two different light sensors here. Both are sensitive to infrared. This one is called a phototransistor. The, this lead is connected to the positive. The other lead is connected via a resistor to the ground or negative. I'm measuring the voltage with the oscilloscope across the resistor. This second device is an infrared receiver module. It has a lot more functionality to it than just uh, looking at light. It looks for a specifically 38 kilohertz pulsed uh, signals and it amplifies them and it's good. It has a really good directionality where I can pick up signals from almost any direction. Here I have three wires. This wire goes to the positive. The central wire goes to the ground. And the third wire is just connected out here in the breadboard. It's not really connected to anything. But I measure the difference in voltage between this third wire, the output, and ground. So this is the IR receiver module with one, two, three pins. One is the output, two is ground, three is the supply voltage, which is five volts. Normally, when there's no signal, there's a difference in voltage between this output wire and ground, which is five volts difference. When a signal from a remote hits the sensor, then this becomes essentially ground and there's no voltage difference between those two terminals. Here on the oscilloscope screen, the signal from the phototransistor will show up in yellow. The signal from the infrared receiver will show up in blue. And here I'll, I'll use my remote and you can see uh, at this distance the only signal you really see is from the infrared receiver that amplifies the signal. If I get really close then you'll start seeing the uh, the yellow signal which is the actual signal from the remote but it's very sensitive to distance and it's also sensitive to direction and so you can see that the infrared receiver is a nice steady signal very insensitive to distance and direction. The divisions on screen are 2 volts therefore you can see right now that the blue line is at plus 5 volts and when we give it a signal then it alternates between plus 5 and 0 volts plus 5 and 0 volts so that's the digital signal that's coming out of the remote control. In this case the 5 volts is coming from an Arduino it's not doing anything programmed, it's just providing power to the breadboard.